Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 20, Lesson 1. I'm going to start off by going over the ICAN objective. It says, I can identify and classify polygons. The learning objective is to identify and classify polygons. The prior learning is that students classified two-dimensional figures using angle measures in the presence or absence of parallel or perpendicular segments. Students identified right triangles, and students identified and recognized the relationships between categories of figures, including quadrilaterals. All right, so moving into the lesson, we're on page 497. Um, we have a spark your learning. It says many of the figures found in art, nature, and science are familiar. So group the polygons shown based on two or more features or attributes they have in common. Okay, so you have a very beautiful, beautiful vent diagram in the teacher's manual. I want you to look at that and study that. So it shows which um, ones are triangles. And then it says um, ones that all the side lengths are the same length, and that's marked by the little blue line. And then it says that they have at least one right angle. So that's the square angle, not the rounded angle, but inside it's marked by a square or an L. Okay, so go ahead and study that three-part Venn diagram. And just look that some are overlapping, right? There is a triangle that also has sides that are the same length. There is um, a, a square that has both one right angle and all the sides are the same length. There's a um, triangle in there that has at least one right angle, right? So there's some that go into multiple categories. Okay, and it's a beautiful Venn diagram, and I would like you just to study that out of the teacher's manual. I'm going to show you a really simplified way to do this. Is um, It's just two or more features, so you can just say one of them is three sides and one of them is four sides, right? So you're just showing the difference between um, triangles and rectangles. So three sides... That is going to be all my different triangles. So I have a triangle that looks like this, one that looks like this, and one that looks like this. All right, then I have my four sides, and those are my squares. Oh, and I also have a triangle that looks like that. All right, then I have my rectangles. I have my square just keep track. Then I have this quadrilateral. Then I have my rectangle. Okay. Then a different one was I have my six sides. Okay. And that is my hexagon over here. So that's my one with my six sides. All right, so that's two or more features. You can just do it by sides. You can do it by angles. You can do it by right angles. However you want to classify, you just want to see where the shapes are falling based on what category you create for it. All right, so let's go ahead and flip the page. Now, number one, build your understanding. It says Mr. Berger and his class are looking at the polygon shown. So for A, it said record the attributes of different polygons in the table. So complete the column for the figure that has four vertices. So this odd shape that's showing in the table, you already see that it has a number seven. So we wanna know the name of a polygon with seven. And I don't expect you to know the names, but I do expect you to find out the pattern of the number of sides, the number of angles, and the number of vertices. So I am gonna let you do that on your own. And then complete the column for the nonagon, and then draw two other polygons and complete the column. So I am gonna do about half of this with you, and then I'm gonna have you do the other half on your own. Okay, so the name of this polygon with seven sides is called a heptagon. And you can see that over in the um, yellow connect to the vocabulary, right? A heptagon is with seven and a nonagon is with nine. All right, so then you know that this um, nine, a nonagon, nineagon, um, is gonna have nine vertices. Okay, and then you can just draw 
any shape with nine sides. It can be completely ridiculous looking. It's just a shape that connects with nine sides. However you want to do that is totally fine. Then I want you to do a pentagon. And this has five vertices and then a hexagon. And this has six vertices. So I'm going to have you draw it. I'm going to have you figure out the number of sides and the number of angles on your own. Then I want you to try to find the pattern. What do you notice about the attributes or like, um, the parts of each polygon? So what do you notice the pattern in the graph once you finish it? All right. So go ahead and I got you started. Go ahead and finish it from here and then come back together and we will solve it. Go ahead and hit pause here. All right, let's go ahead and finish this together. So for the heptagon, it does have seven vertices, which is showing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then they want to know how many sides. Well, it shows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it does have seven sides. And then for the angles on the inside, it would be one angle here, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it also has seven angles. Okay, now for this nonagon, it can be wonky and I'll try to be as crazy with this as possible. Just so you show, just so you know, it doesn't have to be like more circular like the heptagon is showing. So I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? It can look as crazy as possible. That's totally fine. So I know there are nine points to this, which means there's also going to be nine sides. And you saw that I was, as I was, as I was drawing it. So if something has nine vertices and nine sides, that means it also is going to have nine angles. And you should see the pattern, all seven, all nine. So now we're going into the Pentagon. So the Pentagon looks like a little house, right? With five sides and five angles and five vertices. And then a hexagon is the one that I did on the previous page. So that's a hexagon and it has six sides, six angles and six vertices. So what is the pattern that we're noticing about this? Is that um, each polygon has matching sides, angles, and vertices. All right, that is it for this lesson. Go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems and I'll see you back for module 20, lesson two.